press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello my dear students, welcome back to your social science class. Yes, so we were discussing about classification of industries under manufacturing industries. So yesterday we did discuss about certain industries, right? Classification under classification itself, we came across agro-based industries and mineral-based industries, right? So when it comes to agro-based, we did discuss about cotton, jute, textile, yes, so all those things we did discuss, right? So apart from that, we did discuss about the mineral based. So when it comes to mineral based, we did discuss about aluminium smelting and even we did discuss about your iron and steel industry, right? Yes. So we did even discuss about chemical industry and fertilizer industry. So when it comes to your agro based industries, what does that mean? What do you mean by agro based industries? It totally depends upon the agriculture itself, right? Your jute material or even the uh, your uh, cotton industry or even the sugarcane industry. See what happens? Those are the raw materials. So, agriculture is the main thing. So, agro based agriculture. So, agriculture produ produced, agriculturally something whatsoever they have produced which can be used as a raw material for the industries. Okay, they are used as a raw material for the other industries here. So, you can consider that classification of industries under that we have discussed about these two things that is agro based industries and even we have discussed about your uh, this uh, uh, mineral based industries for when it comes to agri agro based uh, it totally depends upon the agriculture itself whatever production the raw materials that they receive from the agriculture it has to totally depend upon that itself and mineral based industries are the one which depends upon the minerals and the metals which are considered to be the raw materials for the production here so while discussing about cement in sorry uh, while discussing about your chemical industries and all uh, see your chemicals so we depend upon the, both the organic and inorganic chemicals here right so both are produced here on the basis of the chemicals that is produced so what i said both uh, so chemical industries they totally depend upon them itself okay they totally depend upon themselves for because uh, most of the uh, uh, organic uh, uh, chemical industries that is pharmaceuticals and all they depend upon the chemical they receive there right so chemical industries are both the producers and consumers of the industry so they depend upon chemical industries itself and without chemical even most of the things uh, in relation to the agriculture or even the other uh, agro based industries those most of the industries they depend upon the chemical itself most of the chemicals are used right either from uh, what i can say uh, the chemicals how they use it is used at every places right for example fertilizer synthetic fibers plastics all these things are uh, more, much more needed even for the packaging and all we use plastic right though it is not eco friendly nowadays we are very much we are very cautious that's the reason we are not using those things but yes, people used to use it and most of the people still they use it. They depend upon synthetic fibers and all, right? Adhesives. Adhesives are very much necessary even for the industries and all that is important. That's the reason they are again depending upon those materials. So those are organic uh, chemicals and uh, sorry, inorganic chemicals. And organic chemicals are uh, those which are uh, uh, like uh, see, synthetic fibers, rubber, plastic. Uh, dye stuffs, drugs, etc. So, pharmaceuticals, all those things come from organic uh, chemicals. So, fertilizer, again another thing was fertilizer industry, wherein the fertilizer industries, uh, those are produ uh, producing much more fertilizers as and when high yielding uh, crops are being produced using all the modern techniques, agriculture uh, industry, see agriculture is improving, right? As the agriculture is improving, they are using much more fertilizers and all just to have a good growth, right, of the crops. So to get a high yield, 
uh, to get good amount of crops and all what they are doing they are using all this fertilizers and all and there are certain other fertilizers which are used for other industries and all okay so they are using so much more uh, um, uh, industries related to fertilizer have been established as uh, their uh, agriculture is improving so now let us know about the cement industry which is again a uh, important one okay so cement industries you might have heard about cement right cement production and also when it comes to cement industries see let me tell you one thing when it comes to cement industry it is the it requires bulky raw material it is requiring the raw material itself is bulky in nature and it is essential for construction activity obviously cement is required everywhere right now if at all i am standing on a building so the building is made up of cement itself they use cement there right for the construction work itself you need cement so it a uh, building either it may be building house or probably factory bridges airports everything for uh, wherever they are planning for the co uh, uh, construction definitely cement industries are very much important so cement industry it uh, it is required in a bulky manner it is not uh, uh, we don't need it in a less manner the raw materials whatever is required for the cement industry that is bulky in nature uh, that is limestone silica alumina and gypsum so these uh, these are required in a huge uh, amount we can see here uh, yes and this industry is uh, yes these there are many uh, cement plant in gujarat because of the proximity of ports okay uh, proximity nothing but the raw materials can be uh, see uh, the location is uh, uh, or the ch look they choose the location based upon the uh, requirements see if at all they have got the labor good labors or probably the market is good so what they do they choose such a kind of place right in the same way when it comes to cement industry they too are doing the same thing and uh, gujarat because there are much more ports so that they can get the raw materials very easily even these raw materials which are bulky in nature they can get it very easily there that's the reason they have chosen gujarat as the uh, plant there they have set up a very good uh, plant uh, just for the production of cement there so the first cement plant was set up in uh, chennai okay that was in the year 1904 uh, that was after independence the industry expanded okay so in 1904 it was established in chennai after in independence it started expanding itself so chennai is the first place where in cement industry was established uh, then yes improvement in the quality has been found so see as uh, and when it is required we have to improve certain things right again in cement industry also we can see the improvement uh, the product uh, the produce uh, see we have found the produce a readily available market where and all we are using it east asia middle east africa and south asia apart from a large demand within the country see no doubt we are using cement even in our nation itself apart from this a few of the na nation they are having much more uh, uh, importance so nothing but they need it and we are exporting it so it is like there's a demand for this and um, a few cement industries have been established and even they are expanding like anything so this is doing well in terms of production and even it is adding to the uh, what I can say uh, the industrial GDP okay so it is adding there because uh, no doubt uh, see if for each and every industry we could see that there were one or the other problem but uh, thankfully cement industry is not having that much of problem compared to the other industries and here uh, yes uh, it is having a good production uh, and it is giving it is uh, what I can say satisfying okay it is meeting the demand of people whosoever is there in the nation apart from that it is uh, uh, striving very hard to they meet the demands of the importers okay those who are importing uh, the, for they are those who are importing cement from our nation for them also these people are exporting it in a good uh, amount so efforts are being made to generate adequate domestic demand and supply in order to sustain the industry so they have to sustain the industry right sustainability it is not about only today or tomorrow it has to sustain for a very long time and these people are concentrating upon sustaining the industry that's the reason uh, for the sustainment this industry is very good and uh, yes it is meeting the demand and supply 
it sees that they supply okay cement has been supplied whenever it, it feels that yes there is a demand so that is how the demand and supply are met okay so the demand, they are meeting the demand with their supply that's the reason there is no much problem with the cement industries okay so improvement in quality has been found and uh, yes so the uh, as i told you it is meeting the demand and uh, yes it is even exporting so that's the reason there is no problem as such next one is automobile industry which you people can explain very well nowadays those who are very much interested in car production or even you might design cars and all right you will be very much in, interested so it need not be only car but yes automobiles i can say on a whole yes so it provides vehicle right for quick transport of goods services and passengers as i have told you it includes automobiles it is not only about car but something that can be used for the transport of all this material either raw material or even the passengers truck bus car motorcycle scooter etc three wheelers and other uh, multi layer okay multi utility vehicles uh, these are manufactured even in india uh, so after the liberalization so you know uh, the industries became liberalized nothing but the government stopped poking its nose and it started uh, uh, giving the liberal values okay it started in, uh, or say liberalization wherein uh, the laissez faire was uh, uh, applied wherein uh, the industry started feeling that yes they can have their own rules and regulation rather than depending upon the government and government stopped poking its nose in, into the industries okay so that is how uh, the automobile industry has come into existence and they are gaining much more importance because uh, they are producing much more things here so much more designs have come improvised uh, 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 this uh, designs have come which are uh, been uh, used okay so after the liberalization as said uh, they have come with a new and contemporary model which are uh, stimulated the demand for vehicles in the market which led to the healthy growth of the industry including passenger cars two wheelers and three wheelers most of the students who love bikes and all you might have known about much more bikes right you tell your parents uh, if i score so and so you have to get, get me a bike right that style this style you have super bikes you tell about those things right you come across so many styles nowadays right you know about your uh, royal enfield you will say madam uh, sir um, uh, sorry your father you uh, call him and you tell i need uh, uh, this uh, royal enfield uh, so and so or say bullet bike all those things you tell right so how do you get to know about those things definitely you see the designs every now and then right and yes there might be much more improvement in the bike styles right earlier it was just the hero honda very simple one splendor plus and all now we can see much more uh, this uh, Royal Enfield 360, that Interceptor, uh, all these bikes have come into existence. R15 was somewhere, it, it, it did gain much more importance. Now you have something called as a basic one is it's a, a Jigsaw, right? So this these bike style have come even in two wheelers were in gearless, girls would love to prefer, right? Axis 125 you have, so see the style. Right, cars, if at all you can see the cars, so many style cars have come into existence, right? Earlier it was only this uh, Tata Indica or say Maruti 800 and all. Now we can find so many wonderful cars, right? Yes, so the style has changed, the designs have changed, you have so many things to choose here, right? So those have come because people are demanding first thing okay the people are demanding and to meet their demand the work, industries are working towards that right and it is not only for uh, here itself it is not only uh, supplying for the or meeting the demands of only the indian people or say only the country no even it is uh, exporting outside india so that's the reason automobile industries also they are gaining much more importance so at present uh, there are almost 15 manufacturers of cars and multi-utility vehicles, 9 commercial uh, vehicles and 14 of 2-wheeler and 3-wheelers uh, here. 
so you can see delhi gurgaon mumbai pune chennai kolkata bangalore uh, sanand pant uh, nagar etc where in major industrial uh, automobile centers or say industry can be found so you can see all these uh, industries here okay so automobile industry is gaining much more importance even jamshedpur indoor etc have been added now so they too are working jamshedpur was earlier also it was there hyderabad was also there okay so these uh, automobile industry is working very well because of the because of the demand okay the demand the value what people are giving towards automobile and these people are supplying or say they are meeting the demands of people here so as a reason automobile industry is gaining much more importance next is your uh, yes information technology and electronics industries see it industry is something that has come with uh, 2000 from 2000 it is it has gained much more importance so when it comes to it we call bangalore right yes bangalore is the one which is has, which has much more or it has spread like a wildfire now in bangalore so products from transistors uh, set to television so when it comes to this also telephone cellular telecom telephone exchange radars computers other equipments related to these things you might have come across there are certain things even uh, uh, a few people might not be knowing about those things right <coughs> yes so all the electronic uh, devices all these gadgets etc etc those and all are produced through these uh, industries itself so bangalore as you all know bangalore is the very first uh, or say we can uh, term it as electronic capital of india because most of the id industries are in bangalore then comes your mumbai pune delhi hyderabad chennai kolkata lucknow and coimbatore are uh, again uh, other important uh, centers there are almost 18 software centers or a technology park in the country and they provide single window servers and high data communication to software experts so that's the reason software uh, engineers are getting much more importance and they earn lack together right because of the industries because the industry is getting uh, as i told you it is widespread nothing but it is spreading like anything so it is gaining much more importance here and that's the reason uh, because of the importance it is gaining it is enjoying here or say it is having a very good stable uh, kind of a, a thing here and much more ITs can be seen in Bangalore and people do rush towards Bangalore right so employment even um, uh, people are getting much more employment there and most of the industries that is getting set up there because of the uh, hub it has become a corporate hub right because of the uh, availability easy availability of people and all easy availability of uh, what i can say all the raw material they don't need any raw materials there that is different but yes easy setup of all this uh, electricity and all uh, they are uh, having a good time there so whatever they have chosen the location there okay for establishing their it industries so here the major industry concentration is at bangalore as you all know most of the industries as people are uh, giving much more importance to Bangalore and even Bangalore is gaining importance because uh, uh, people do rush them and <coughs> the environment is favorable in nature okay the favored uh, uh, see when I when I said you when I'm telling you about industry it is nothing but the favorable uh, condition is also necessary right in the favorable condition is very much uh, it is it has helped that's the reason Bangalore is gaining much more importance here and the major industry concentration is at Bangalore Hyderabad as I told you the industry has been on employment generation so as I told you it is giving much more importance for the employment also and as people are getting employed in all the software industries that industry is growing and yes uh, so even the continuing growth in the hardware and software is the key to the success of IT industry so as they are getting much more employment and all people are also giving much more importance for all these industries uh, both the hardware and software industries are growing like uh, growing very much and it is successful in india so now it is all about your industries nothing but the classification as i told you about cement industry automobile industry it and electronics industry which is again it is coming under classification of industries 
but don't you think that industries are equally important that they have to know that they are contributing towards the degradation of the environment they are contributing right they are equally responsible they have to take the responsibility here but yes see industrial pollution and environmental degradation let us know about that yes we are facing much more air pollution water pollution and even sound pollution right see air pollution how does that happen you might uh, see you have studied these things as a basic thing when it comes to air pollution and all the how industries are uh, creating this air pollution and all so we see although industries contribute significantly to the growth of india or say economic development or even the uh, growth of see economic growth and all no doubt industry are giving their contribution but equally they are contributing towards the environmental degradation so what is this environmental degradation nothing but environment is losing its importance or say the uh, greenery the uh, pollution free place we are not getting okay uh, you can see pollution everywhere right so during this lockdown most of the places were so clear including bangalore right so those pictures were surfaced everywhere in whatsapp and all you might have seen right bangalore earlier and during lockdown because people were not going out they were working from home itself work from home option is still given and compared to lockdown earlier lockdown now it is again facing the pollution and all because as all the transportation system started and people are again rushing towards the job work etc etc you can see there is pollution again so air pollution is the main thing when it comes to industries so they are contributing equally towards the environmental degradation environment is losing its value the importance we are not getting the we are not getting the clean environment because of the industries so industries are equally responsible they have to concentrate upon giving the good environment they have to maintain the good environment if they are not ready to have maintain these things definitely the we the, it degrades it starts degrading the environment starts degrading it is it loses its value there right yes so industries are industrial pollution very first is air pollution uh, we have uh, known about this right we know the types here air pollution water pollution and uh, your uh, yes sound pollution so when it comes to air pollution it is caused by the presence of high uh, proportion of undesirable gases so the gases that are left out through the uh, industries okay which are harmful in nature which are dangerous in nature that is sulfur dioxide carbon monoxide etc uh, breathing those things uh, are dangerous in nature so uh, see a uh, few of the people did die taking or uh, consuming those uh, chemicals right so yes so if at all those chemicals are consumed those uh, gases are consumed definitely people will uh, they will be facing one or the other problem there right yes so it is all because of the industrial pollution so it is adding on there so air pollution air borne per, per, particulate that is materials contain both solid and liquid particles dust sprays mist and smoke see even it industries you might have uh, you might ask like how is it contributing towards the air pollution definitely every day they have to uh, take up their car they have to go to see if at all i have seen in bangalore one person one car one person one car so how they don't pull up there okay pooling is not nowadays they are offering pooling that is different but earlier it was not there so what used to happen one person used to take one car and that would be definitely the a car whatever it leaves all the carbon dioxide and all that adds to the air pollution right indirect one so apart from that no doubt all the software industries they use this technologies and all the network all these things when they are using definitely they are causing uh, this uh, uh, what i can say uh, uh, in, uh, sorry uh, the pollution okay pollution to the environment so smoke is emitted by all the chemical industries not only chemical even all the factories here okay all the small or say large factories they are uh, uh, coming up they are emitting all this uh, uh, chemicals which are very much danger in nature and brick 
hills even those are producing all this even they are contributing towards the pollution of the environment and refineries melting plants and even burning of fossil fuels okay all these things either big industry or say small industry does not matter but whatever work they are carrying out because of which there might be even a percent of uh, pollution towards the environment definitely that causes the excuse me environmental degradation so pollution see in big or uh, small factories uh, they ignore pollution norms nothing but they do not concentrate upon taking the steps to stop these pollutions okay toxic gas leaks can be very hazardous in nature okay so you remember this bhopal gas tragedy which did uh, took place in the year uh, 1986 uh, yes 85 or 86 Bhopal gas tragedy which was the very 84 I guess yes 1984 Bhopal gas tragedy which was very 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 hectic wherein now it did create a havoc okay most of the people almost 3000 people did die because of the chemical because of the airborne uh, see uh, the chemical which got mixed up okay there was a leakage this Bhopal gas tragedy which uh, wherein there was a leakage from a chemical industry okay so that in the, the that chemical got mixed up with the air okay air water etc people uh, did die almost 3000 plus people did die so that was a huge uh, or say uh, one uh, one of the uh, case that happened so another one is mc mehta versus uh, uh, Union of India again that also the same thing were in chemical uh, fertilizer okay industry that uh, left this chemical again that was dangerous in nature most of the people did die still it seems they can the uh, people from there are not that healthy so see how the environmental uh, or say how the industries add on to the environmental degradation so that was again the uh, tragic uh, the tragic thing so air pollution is one which uh, adversely affects the human health the second is water pollution so this is again a common thing as you all know all these industries whichever uh, they need see most of the industries or say mill they need water okay what these people do they use the water in a very large amount and what they do they leave those water earlier earlier uh, this used to happen without recycling those water they used to leave it to the uh, this what i can say um, river or say lakes and all so without uh, recycling it they never did recycle because of which it, it was causing a huge problem okay most of the people did face uh, uh, most of the health issues okay all the diseases because the water gets polluted right those polluted water itself used to be consumed by people and this was again a huge problem and the people started facing problem not only people even the environment water pollution is not the it cannot be taken as easy as it is right so most of the industrial waste affluents they got discharged into rivers it got mixed up so the main culprits in this regard are paper pulp chemical Textile, drying, petroleum, refineries, tanneries, and electroplating industries that let out dyes, detergents, uh, acids, salts, and heavy metals, okay, which uh, causes huge problem. But nowadays, it seems now they are recycling the water and they are leaving back it to, uh, to the uh, river, okay. But even then, though they recycle it, do you think so it would be? Uh, as good as the nature has been given can we replace the water as given by the nature definitely not because once it is polluted though you recycle it may be at least a percent or two it will be there right again we will be facing one or the other this is due to these water pollution so fly ash phosphogypsum and iron and steel slags are the major solid basin India so these are the again these are the things again which causes water pollution so water pollution is again a industrial pollution that is adding to the environmental degradation it is uh, adding on to the degradation of the environment nothing but the environment is losing its importance it is uh, losing the value here but it is losing its value here so water pollution is one such cause the next one is thermal pollution 
Thermal pollution of water occurs when hot water from factories and thermal plants is drained into rivers and ponds before cooling it. Imagine heating, heating, okay, and to the extreme it has been heated and the same water is left. What happens? All the all the animals, see, all the aquatic animals, they would face problem there, right? They would die. And this is not the way. That is That should not be done. All the measures have to be taken. So waste from nuclear plants such as uh, nuclear and weapon production facilities cause cancer. See how dangerous it is. Birth defects, okay, miscarriages. So pregnant ladies, they uh, face miscarriage because of the heavy, all these uh, water consumption. Okay, not only that, birth defects. The, the baby that has been uh, you know that takes place that takes birth may not be you know, perfect in nature so there will be defect there and even uh, so the, even these things are very common and soil and water pollution are closely related to each other so as you all know soil and water pollution uh, almost it is very closely uh, related so dumping of waste directly into the soil again that also causes problem see nowadays uh, we, uh, why we are uh, banning the plastics and all it seems earth has got a huge layer of plastic itself right what we do we use plastics and all and we throw it in, it in the dustbin what they do they dump, dump it e either in river or say dump it in some place so is it biodegradable in nature does it decompose that nobody cares for right so plastic that's the reason ban plastic this is what we were uh, we had the moment like a ban totally you have to ban so uh, again it is uh, still uh, the industries are still working and all that is different but yes so it has to be totally stopped because it is causing soil pollution soil pollution wherein the soil is losing its fertility okay the fertile soil the amount of fertile soil are is very less compared to other things here so that's the reason soil pollution is also uh, it is closely related to the water pollution so it is harmful all the chemicals uh, certain chemicals i uh, see uh, when we were discussing about fertilizers i guess i did not tell you so the fertilizers are used with uh, used for uh, uh, agriculture and all right uh, you had a few most of the people they had uh, this question ma'am how uh, water pollution is possible see maybe it is not about today or yesterday but definitely it is not about only for a day definitely once the fertilizers heavy fertilizers all the chemical fertilizers are used for the agriculture what happens that gets mixes up with water right so all the water see there will be huge irrigation that is used okay it gets and uh, imagine there's a heavy rainfall what happens all the fertilizers gets washed away and that causes the water pollution again soil uh, soil pollution is also possible because all the chemicals gets mixed up with the soil it loses its fertility there uh, so again garbage okay effluence packaging all those things see that's the reason i keep asking students or say even most of the people don't to throw the wrappers or whenever you eat chocolate or even this that everything like whatever it is served in the plastic uh, covers and all or the packaging whatever you are using don't throw it here and there you have something called dustbin right throw it in that and people who carry those uh, dust or say that particular thing they sort it out there okay they sort it out so that's the reason please do see that at home also you do the same thing keep the wet something biodegradable in nature all those things in one uh, plastic and something that does not get uh, uh, decomposed you keep it separate so even uh, see rainwater percolates to the soil carrying the pollutants to the ground and the groundwater also gets contaminated see even groundwater also gets contaminated with the rain water see rain water it gets percolate right the uh, earth absorbs it as and when see once the rain uh, starts like it starts absorbing right and whatever enough uh, hey, uh, see what happens uh, once the rain water increases so that water will be flowing right it starts flowing so the water that is percolating okay that has been percolated inside okay as uh, for the groundwater definitely the 
if at all those chemicals are present definitely that gets mixed up there right again that the underground water also gets polluted so again that is an industrial pollution here next is noise pollution if you have industries nearby will you be able to say mill and all that makes huge sound right yes if you have even uh, lathe machines okay though they are very small uh, factories lathe machines so th that makes a whole day it keeps making noise so sound pollution so again factories or say your uh, industries are adding to the noise pollution which causes irritation it raises anger and even unwanted the sound it causes a heart disease and all if at all a person is having a heart disease and all definitely it would be a problematic thing for the uh, person so it has increased again heart uh, this rate and blood pressure among people has been increased because of the sound pollution and industrial and construction activities machinery factory equipment generator saw mill or say pneumatic and electric drills also make a lot of noise so industry equals to noise right so that is what i can tell you so industry any industry for that matter even if it is a construction industry you can see much more noise there right yes so that is how industrial pollution is adding on for the environmental degradation so are there not any measures do you think that you have to take certain measures definitely so control of environmental degradation how we can control the environmental degradation very first is say whatever what uh, say whatever chemicals that has been left out okay that if you know that yes it is getting mixed up with the uh, river see that you recycle it very first thing is that itself so minimizing usage of water for processing of uh, or say by reusing and recycling it so now as i told you polyfibers they have got a huge tank what they are doing they are using the same water reusage of the water and recycle it and again they leave it to the same tank so that is how they are using so reuse the water recycle the water and then you can leave it to the river treating hot water and effluents before releasing them in river so you have to keep in mind treating all this thermal pollution when i said so hot water don't leave it directly to the river but see that you treat it and then you can leave it to the uh, river primary treatment by mechanical means this involves screening grinding of uh, uh, flo flocculation and sedimentation secondary treatment by biological processes so primary process secondary process and even tertiary treatment by biological chemical and physical processes so including all these things you can recycle you can reuse okay you can see that it does not cause any pollution to the environment then oil drawing of ground water reserves by industry where there is a threat to the ground water also needs to be regulated nothing but ground water again and again if you start using the ground water definitely you will face problem there so that has to be limited legalized okay so regulate they have to regulate here so smoke can be reduced by using oil or say gas instead of uh, coal uh, in factories so smoke can be reduced using oil or say gas which uh, does not emit any of the uh, like gases here and machinery and equipment can be used and generator okay whatever generator or say other things that has been used which makes less noise okay which does not have much noise or say you can use some silencers there so that it does not cause any problem to the so silent you, you want to use you use it we are not asking to stop it definitely but yes use certain things which shall not cause any sound pollution so almost all machinery can be re redesigned to increase energy efficiency and even uh, reduce the noise here so noise absorbing materials can also be used all those are noise absorbing something wherein the sound pollution can be reduced so all those absorbers can be used there is something called as ntpc that is it is a major power providing corporation in india ntpc okay it has a certification okay iso certification uh, for the environment management system so it uh, it actually uh, manages the system here environment management 
So what on things it is doing here? Very first is optimum optimum utilization of equipment, adopting latest technique and upgrading. Nothing but see old machines cannot be used again and again it has to be upgraded it has to be every now and then effluents should be used so that the machines will not make any noise or say modernized me me uh, mechanical system or say modernized machines should be adopted so uh, these things will be kept in check by the ntpc and minimizing waste generation by maximum ash utilization so waste should be reduced and ash utilization can be adopted here. So providing green belts for nurturing ecological balance. So how to provide a good environment? Nothing but eco ecological balance. So whatever you are using, you see that you replace it with the same. So that is what they are telling here. So whatever you are using, you use it. But yes, see that you replace it. If you are cutting one tree today, see that you replace it with two plants to that okay so that is what is being required so next is reducing environmental pollution through ash pond management ash water recycling system liquid waste management <coughs> so recycling regenerating whatever you have used replace it okay whatever you have used use it in a right manner don't waste it Okay, so that is what has been said. Ecological monitoring reviews and online database management for all its power stations. So, how much power has been used, in what way they are using, whether it is using more, all these things shall be kept. Okay, they uh, have a check of all these things so that the resources like water, oil, okay, and gas and fuels are in places where it is setting up power. Plant. So, wherever it is setting its power plant, all these things are kept in mind so that there won't be any environmental degradation to control, okay, to control environmental degradation, this NTPC has come into existence and it is working very well to have a good environment. So, this is all about manufacturing industries. With this manufacturing industries, with this topic, we have finished your chapter manufacturing industries so here in this manufacturing industries we came across the definition of manufacturing we did discuss about what is industry and what cannot amount to industry we even did discuss about classification of industries before to that we did discuss the importance of industry why industry is very much important we have discussed about that including we have discussed about the classification of industry which wherein we discussed about agro-based industries, mineral-based industries. Apart from that, we will discuss about cement industry, automobile industry, uh, IT and electronic industry. So that is coming at a classification of industries itself and how industries are creating pollution and how the environmental uh, environment is losing its <coughs> value. Or say, we can see the degradation, right? the environmental value is degrading we came across air pollution noise pollution thermal pollution and even sound pollution so how it can be reduced what all control measures can be taken even we have discussed about that where in control of environmental degradation we came up with yes dear students if you have any doubts please let me know okay once this video gets streamed up please see that you go through the whole video and if you have any doubts please let me know thank you so much have a great day